Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA 3D Printing, and today I'm going to be reviewing L Crow's Crow Pie All in One Kit, uh, Raspberry Pi Kit, and also their uh, 1500 Fashion Multiple Wireless Desktop um, Keyboard. So let's get started. Alright, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for staying tuned and watching this video. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you enjoy cool little 3D printing projects and other electronic videos. Uh, that is what my YouTube channel is about. So please stick around and keep watching this video. Um, but today, Elkro sent me their really cool Crow Pie, uh, basically like computer kit. Now they told me um, that they were sending me one of their Raspberry Pi kits. And when I got this in the mail, I definitely did not expect this. Um, it is a super cool kit. I have actually opened it just to check it out what it is. Um, but a huge thank you to Naomi Wu. Uh, she told them about me and they contacted me and they thought it'd be really cool if I uh, did a little review from a beginner point of view on this type of electronics. And so thank you to her. Don't Definitely don't forget to go check out her channel. She's done a lot for me, so I definitely want to give back to her. Um, but again, I received this in the mail today and it is super cool. Um, it's like basically a little computer, and as you can see on the front here, and it is a pretty big box. Uh, so first, let's just check out the front. It says the Elcro all-in-one uh, kit. It is a lead to go from zero to hero with a Raspberry Pi. So it's like a new experience with a Raspberry Pi. Next, it just basically shows you that it's kind of like a computer, um, and this says it is the advanced kit. Um, let's check out the f this first side. It just says their Elcro. The second size, um, there are four available colors, and um, I received a yellow, which you will see is a really cool yellow. There's purple, yellow, blue, and black. Um, I think all of them look really awesome. Um, and then the next side here, it says uh, it is a ready-to-build kit, or they are ready-to-build kits. Um, it is fully programmable, STEM education, open source, multiple OS supported. Um, it is touchscreen, which I think is really awesome. Um, it is invented and create um, enabled sources and there's game console you can use this as a game console and computer science so this overall just looking at the box is really cool um, I really like their design uh, so let's start opening it up and checking out what everything looks like inside so looking at the box again it looks really cool um, and I definitely do like their little setup here it's definitely appealing to the eye and is really awesome um, so opening up, we just have this really nice um, padding here, and then taking it off, as you can see, this is our whole setup. So um, over here, as you can see, there's two uh, game console controllers that you can hook up wireless or with the wires, uh, USB wires, and uh, play games on it, which I think is really awesome and can really take gaming. Um, on a Raspberry Pi to the next level. Um, next, looking over here, we have the power supply and then just some little things in here. We have a screwdriver for fixing, a stylist, so if you don't want to use your fingers, um, a USB uh, SD card converter, and then some kind of scrapey tool. I'm not really sure what that's for. Um, and then next over here, I think these are, I'm pretty sure, are headphones for uh, listening to music or whatever you want maybe the gaming and then these things I'm pretty sure are just replaceables for the electronics that are in here um, well I haven't checked that out yet but we'll keep in mind what these are for um, and then again these things over here I think are just replaceables um, not a hundred percent sure but we will check that out once we get everything else open um, but all right so checking out the manual here it's a cool little introduction um, uh, you guys can read it when you get there, or you can just pause here and uh, read this. But um, it also shows you the table of contents over here. The next page shows what it looks like before assembly and after. So I'm pretty sure all of these come pre-assembled. I wasn't 100% sure about that when I got mine, because I know it had been opened already, so I think mine's already been set up. Not 100% sure, but I'll leave a little annotation here if there is something different, different news about that. Um, but this shows an example of the colors, um, and then next here it shows what it looks like inside and everything is labeled. One cool thing is that the case for this computer is actually ABS plastic, so that's actually really awesome because it does have to do with 3D printing. 
Um, but it does not look like it was 3D printed. I don't believe it was. It was just uh, mold, mold formed. Um, so then here's all the safety notes and warnings. Um, and the next is the installation process. Um, and then up here are some more information. And this is actually the keyboard and mouse that came with mine or uh, they shipped to it with me. Um, and then over here, it does tell you more information on installing things. And then the next page just shows you um, how to basically turn on everything. Uh, so as you can see over here, this is where your USB goes, your USB ports. Um, and then there's an HDMI port right here. So if you want to hook this up to a bigger monitor or something, um, which I think would be really cool because this is kind of like its own computer. Um, and then everything else over here, uh, and then this is where your power cord will go, and then the power button's also right there. Um, next, it just shows you where to plug it in again, and then it will turn on the power with this little button, and then this is where you hook up all your USB stuff. So, um, the next final pages are just showing you how to start your Wi-Fi, and I will go over that with you guys. Um, but basically, you can read over the manual, um, but other than that, let's turn on and open this cool little computer. So as you can see here, this is our awesome little computer guy. So there's a sticky thing out over here, and that just peels off. It says Crow Pie on it, and it is it has a little pie um, logo on the top, Raspberry Pi. And this is an actually really, really cool case. As you guys can see, it's kind of um, shiny, and I really like the yellow. It is a little bright, but I think it's really cool and definitely nice and clean looking. So you just have a little clip down here, and we open that. And here is our awesome little computer. So as you guys can see me here in the camera, um, try to ignore that. Uh, but um, this is a simple setup here. And uh, again, everything is really simple. Here is the where you plug in the power. And then here is your button to turn it on. Um, and then there's, I believe these are over here, uh, the speakers. And then this is where you plug in your other USB stuff and the HDMI um, plug-in is right here. So let's plug it in and check it out and see what everything looks like. And as you can see nothing happened because we had to push this power button right here. And now you can see everything is powering on. It just does the normal launching of the Raspberry Pi. This is what normal Raspberry Pis do when they launch. Again this is touchscreen so if you don't have a um, keyboard or a mouse that came with yours you can use touchscreen um, but I will plug in my keyboard and mouse right now. It's just super easy, uh, simple. Basically all you do is take it out. Here's the mouse and then the keyboard just pulls right out. There's no really setup for this keyboard. Um, all you have to do is put a AA battery in here and a AA battery in the bottom of here. To get this to connect to the little computer, um, what you have to do is slide this off. Again, plug in a uh, AA battery and pull out the little wireless USB um, for this and then you plug it in down here uh, in the USB port and just a super easy setup so now my mouse is all set up um, it get, takes a second and there we go so I think you have to click to actually activate the mouse but it is a simple cheap little plastic mouse but I think it's really cool and definitely goes good with this uh, little computer so there's actually a tab up here to pull the screen cover off so just a little piece of plastic to keep it covered um, next what you want to do to connect to your um, Wi-Fi is go up here to this corner and um, turn on your Wi-Fi and then you want to choose your Wi-Fi put in the password and that's where you want to use the keyboard some kind of keyboard you can use any keyboard it doesn't have to be from Elcro so to just give you guys a little example of one thing you can do on here um, is you can go over to this little pie icon um, in the top left corner and you can go down to games here and go to Minecraft. So they do have Minecraft uh, Pie Edition on here installed. Um, so I'm just going to go on here and show you guys how good and actual fast this computer is. Um, and I again, I do have my little um, keyboard and my mouse hooked up. So um, I'm just going to show you an example of what this looks like and its quickness. As you can see, there's no lagging on here. So I think this would be a really cool uh, little computer for a little kid or something. Um, definitely a little awesome little thing. So uh, one thing I did want to mention um, is that little packet of colored things. They are little uh, covers for these little knobs down here. Um, and 
uh, I did a little bit more research on what this thing is and basically it is a little computer it can be turned into many things but also it can be turned into a lot of little cool things for um, working with Raspberry Pi so all of this open stuff here can be plugged into many many things to make cool other things so for example taking this box um, the extra stuff in here it isn't extra it is just some cool stuff to hook up so this is actually a I believe this is a servo motor and um, there might be another one in there um, I think actually this is the only servo motor um, but you can plug this in to, I believe, this port here and do a lot of cool testing. So that's basically what this thing is. It is a beginner's um, Raspberry Pi cool little computer testing um, electronic based thing. You can do a lot of things with like the timer over here. Um, I don't know if you can hook the real time up to that. Um, there's an LCD screen here. Uh, and it just, this thing is really cool and it's just really awesome for beginners so what I do know is mine came pre-installed so all of this stuff over here when you get yours will not be there you'll have to um, flash the SD card and there's instructions in the manual for that um, I did not have to do it so I won't be talking about that but it is all listed in the manual and I think you set this part up here um, but other than that, uh, one thing I did want to check out was there is a little remote in this extra bag um, and I wanted to see what that does. So let's take this out. I don't know. Let's just press. I think you have to pull that out and then it does something. I think I'm not really sure what this is for. It didn't say in the manual what it was um, and there's also a keychain in here. I don't know what this is either um, I'll put some more annotations of what these actually are um, on the side here in the video but uh, there's just a lot of cool things in here and I do believe this is just for volume and stuff if you don't have a keyboard um, and I'm not 100% sure if the keyboard comes with this but they did ship one to me and the keyboard is fantastic um, again it is just a little simple keyboard it is plastic but it's super cool and it definitely works very good uh, with the little Bluetooth um, plug-in down here. So the last thing I did want to mention was as you can see here there it says a USB power supply can power this so like say you're in the car and you do not have a wall plug-in you can use a like a portable charger like a big one for like a phone um, and there is a little uh, plug-in down here right here um, and you can use a power supply with that, I believe. I have not tried that, um, but I will probably in the future. If you guys want any updates on this, make sure to go check me out on Instagram and Twitter because I definitely keep people updated on all my projects I'm doing over there. So once again, this is a little based thing that will help you with learning about Raspberry Pis and other things. Um, but other than that, this thing is really awesome, and I think you should go get one for yourself. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun working with this little computer Raspberry Pi guy. Um, thank you again, Elcrow, for sending this to me. This is an amazing product and I really um, hope you guys go and check their company out and purchase some cool things from them. And even um, if you cannot get the keyboard with, with the actual little Raspberry Pi computer, definitely buy the keyboard. Um, I'm not sure how much that is. Um, but it's definitely worth it. It's a cool, cheap little keyboard that uh, actually looks really nice with this little case computer. Um, now, I was reading the manual and it mentions um, setting it up once again. You guys will probably have to set it up. Um, I believe that they flashed mine already and is already set up for me. Um, but you can uh, set it up with Mac or Windows. Um, there's things on there. One thing you guys might be asking is can I change the operating system on here? Now I do not believe you can. I'm not 100% sure on that um, but if I do figure that out I will definitely post another video and more detailed video on this uh, little guy um, but I do not believe you can. I think it is a Raspberry Pi OS I think that's what it's called. Raspberry OS or something like that version um, but I think it's really cool and you can play lots of games on there 
Um, and again, those gaming controllers, I will do a lot more about that. And maybe I might do a video on gaming on here just to have something different. And it does have to do with a Raspberry Pi, which is technology, which is my channel. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below. Please join my channel. We are growing very fast and definitely will appreciate having you here. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.